MIBs, I mean MIKs. Hey everyone, Templar74 here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video is going to be my review of the latest episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush Episode 2, The Organization for Monitoring Interstellar Criminals. And I gotta be honest with you guys, this episode was a pretty good episode. Um, I'm sorry that this review is a little bit delayed. Uh, I had something come up that required me to go back to the hospital. Um, my uh, One of the rods holding my jaw together actually became defective and broke and yeah so it's been a mess um i'm trying to do the best i can but i'm in a lot of pain here so i'm trying to do this video as quick as i can um but before i get into the video i also do want to make a correction about last week's video um i did end up getting you a moo and you he mixed up uh i apologize for that as well um it was a long day when I recorded that review. I was excited to get it done, and I guess that just kind of slipped through the editing. But all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to the actual episode. So the episode is revolving around the MIBs, I mean the MIKs, um, the new organization, and it's basically the rival to UTS, um, and it's run by Manabu Sagetsu, and he uh, shows up and ends up challenging UDS to a rush duel. Ultimately, uh, after much persuasion, he uh, Yuhi tries to tell him, I'll rush duel you. Uh, he, he's, of course, trying to confiscate Yuhi's cards because he had left them outside. Well, that wasn't really him. It was UDS. But eventually, UDS reveals himself and goes ahead and challenges him to a rush duel. Manabu accepts it, and yeah, these two end up going at it. Um, we see that Udius has not advanced summoned and hasn't seen it before, and he struggles with even doing it because uh, he lost his commander in a battle, and it kind of leads to hesitation on the use of advanced summoning. However, Udius ultimately wins the duel by overcoming this and is able to bring out Galactia Oblivion and ends up defeating Manabu. And basically the deal is Manabu lost, so Udius gets to go free. But it's funny because Yuamu basically tells these guys, hey, you thought you guys had the numbers advantage, but let me tell you something. There was 8.8 .8 million uh, warriors inside Udius' spaceship and this kind of just drives them up the wall and they end up leaving and yeah ultimately that's the end of the episode uh, I also do want to admit they were teasing the crud out of Yuhi and Yuamu's parents I still want to know who their parents are um, connection to Yuga maybe I don't know but anyway, all of that being said, everybody, I think there is, but, you know, I'd still like some confirmation here. Anyway, everybody, those are just my thoughts on this episode. It was a pretty good episode. Overall, I give it a 9 out of 10. Really good. But uh, just let me know what your guys' thoughts were about this week's episode in the comment section down below, because as always, I enjoy hearing from you. All right, everyone, as always, Templar74 signing off. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.